Time for the X's presented by Pepsi on Washington Football Live. Julie Donaldson, Santana Moss. I, Santana, when the team gets the news, like head coach Ron Rivera tells them that he's going to have to go through treatments, and he, he was very clear to say, look, this is something that they say is 95% treatable, curable, he should be fine, but still he's going to have to go through a lot of treatments, a lot of therapy It's going to wear and tear on his body. You're trying to get the unit of this team together. Mm -hmm. Does this something that can help bring extra camaraderie together for a team? I, you know, I truly believe so. You know, I've never had this experience of being a player that had a coach that gave us this news, first of all, and then have that may have to step down. But I can honestly think that uh, just from different experiences that I've seen throughout the sports as a whole, uh, this is actually going to give these guys a chance to really collectively come together and, and do it all, you know, do it all for Ron and, and do it because, you know, they understand how precious life is. You know, one of the next practices that they came back to, because he gave the news before they had an off day, I, he reamed the team out afterwards <laughs> as well because he didn't think that everybody was giving their full effort. They didn't do yeah. well enough. And he's then since talked to the team saying, look, we have to have, we can't take plays off, mm -hmm. days off, moments off. And, and he's also saying the sample that he's not going to. He doesn't intend to do yeah. that. There may be days he physically cannot go. Uh, but does that also then as a player, I'm just to say, okay, you know, if coach is going through all this and maybe I was a little bit slower on that play, uh, I mean, I wouldn't think you need the extra motivation, but apparently at times you do. It, it put things in perspective. You know, when you see a coach going through what he's going through, being optimistic as he has been, uh, and he's still showing up, what reason do you have to take off? What reason should you be out here not giving it your all? So that's why I say, you know, collectively these guys have to understand that if my coach can sit here and endure the things that he's enduring, some of the things that we might not even see that he's going through when it comes to his treatments and when they those take place and I'm out here complaining about the heat or my legs or how things are going, I need to shape up or be shipped or, or I'm going to be shipped out. So I think these guys can honestly take that and use that as motivation. And that's why I think collectively these guys are really going to use that and fuel this season on just knowing what the coach is going through and, and they're going to fight with him and show him that, you know, with all that's been going on and, and what you're going through, we're not going to let you down. You have to have, I would imagine, good, strong leadership for that to happen. Otherwise, it, it could maybe work the opposite way. Could it work to where it could become a distraction and maybe divisive in the team? I doubt it would be a distraction. I think when it comes to who they have on staff as coaches, they would definitely let them know it's business as usual. At the end of the day, they all going to have coach in mind. You know, I mean, it's, it's only natural for you to be thinking about him every step of the way. But um, they have a goal. They all want to see their self be that team that that coaches you know been given the job to bring this team back to be so i know with the other coaches on the staff they're going to make sure though they keep you know re-emphasis you know to, to those guys that hey we have to go out here and do our job and put everything else behind us you know i think sometimes we take for granted the the demand that this game takes i mean when you're in the season you maybe get tuesday off but then even then you're having to do appearances yeah. and, and do a lot of community events as well and for a head coach there really are no days off the season is just that it demands all of your time and he's gonna have to take some time out to be able to make sure that he can take care of himself physically and I'm sure his family is gonna be telling him that as well so you don't see often head coaches stepping away unless they absolutely have to and if we take a look at some of the situations and teams where coaches have of course you have Chuck Pagano yeah. when he was the coach it was his first time as the head coach uh, when he was diagnosed with leukemia in September of 2000 2012, took an, an indefinite leave of absence, underwent three months of treatment. Bruce Arians came in and led them for the next 12 games and went 9-3. and three. Yeah. I mean, when you think of situations like that, that gives you hope that this team can really go out there and still be the team that Ron wants them to be and that they all hope to be. Uh, but, you know, you have to just understand that just because we're going through something similar that we've seen another team go through, that doesn't mean that things are going to be easy for us. The road is always tougher. And that's why, you know, I, I commend Coach for being, you know, as optimistic because he understands life. He understands mm -hmm. this is just another roadblock that we have to find a way to get through. And as he said, uh, Pagano, Chuck Pagano was one of the first to reach out to him and to be kind of lend a hand on what to kind of expect through that. You also have some other cases. Eric Berry was a player when he went. James Conner was diagnosed in college with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Both came back to have pretty good impacts, but not without a large fight. Uh, when it does come to players and how they are uh, taking this with their coach, well, John Allen was asked about that, and he pretty much had the best answer that every player would follow. When, it, when, he's, when he said that, it definitely took us by surprise a little bit, but... Based on the move he gave, he's very confident they caught it early, is not aggressive. Um, I mean, that's really all he kind of said. You know, for me personally, I just got to pray for him. And I mean, just looking at him, I don't, 
I would have never known if he would have never told us, but something that's definitely something that you take seriously. And like I said, you've got to pray for him and just hope for the best and just continue to just, he's our guy. So we're, we're behind him strong. And when you have, when there's a situation like that, how, as a, as a group of players, do you guys get together and talk about ways that you can help him just by doing your job or anything like that? Like what are the discussions like amongst yourselves? Amongst ourselves, it's really kind of the same vibe. You know, you really want to just want to keep him in your prayers, continue to work. Um, but at the end of the day, we're going to do our job. And that's why we're here, to do our job and do it at a high level. Um, obviously, you don't want to go out there and be a problem guy in general. But, I mean, when something like this is going on, you just – the biggest thing I can really say is you just got to keep him in your prayer because regardless of if what's going on with him, I'm going to try to do my job to the best ability, regardless of anyone else's circumstance or anything. So that won't change the way I feel about doing my job because at the end of the day, I have to do a job and I have to do it well. So that's that's always been my – my thought, my, you know, uh. it's it's a message and a sentiment that everybody has expressed. And even Coach Rivera, if, you know, listening to the interview, I asked him, I said, what was the first thing he did? I said, the first thing he did is he went and he prayed. Yeah. And he said, you have to have a certain amount of peace as you go through this and for that extra strength. And it does not come from your own strength alone. So the team's rolling behind him, which is great. Um, but also, Santana, you have a lot of people around the league that are rolling behind him as well, including some other head coaches team uh, and organization, uh, first of all, I want to send along our best wishes to uh, uh, Coach Rivera. You know, Ron's um, been a good friend and uh, certainly a person that's, you know, had a great career um, in the National Football League. He's a quality person, player, coach. Uh, and so uh, just want to send our best wishes along to him and, you know, hope for a, a speedy and complete recovery. And um, you know, hope that he's hope that he's doing well. I think the biggest thing that I've learned about Coach Coach Rivera and, and my time with him is that uh, he's not he's not just tough when when you're winning. Uh, he's tough when you're losing too, and that's that's hard. Uh, I think you know your true character is is shown in times of adversity, and and you know he's the guy that we look to when things weren't going well, and he was always the same guy, always encouraging. Uh, and never changed. So I think that's a big thing as, as far as his toughness. And I know he's, you know, like I said, not just him, but uh, Stephanie and his whole family are going to handle this extremely well. And like I said, you know, we all have his back. He's always had our, all our back. So, you know, we all have his back and, uh, you know, nothing but prayers and, and thoughts to him and his family. You know, one of the things that Rivera said is in his last half, he didn't have a former head coach on it, and they wanted to make sure that they did the share, which is why they brought in Santana Jack Del Rio. Should Rivera not be able to go, and should he have to step away, he feels that the team's going to be good in Del Rio's hands because he has plenty of experience at the position. Yeah, Jack has plenty of experience. You know, he was a coach for 12 years, uh, I believe nine years with the Jags, three years with the Raiders, and also he dealt with having to be an interim you know, head coach when he was up in Denver when John Fox had to step down. So uh, it's great to see how he built this this team around him because you never know what you can go through throughout a season, and we're seeing that right now firsthand. Like he said, he made sure before he even talked to the team that a plan B was in place. Of course, he hopes to never have to go to a plan B.